This recipe is for a quick Christmas fruit cake and it uses a lovely combination of dried fruit including prunes and apricots and I'm livening it all up with some French cherry brandy. Now to start with, into a large pan, I'm going to add some butter. Next, in go those fruits, apricots, vine fruits, I've got some dried cranberries all going in there. Next I've got a tin of this chestnut puree and it's been sweetened with vanilla, some dark muscovado and then here's that French cherry brandy. I'm going to keep a little bit back to drizzle into the cooked cake. So now for the zest, I've got three clementines. Now with most Christmas cakes you need to prepare the fruit and soak it at least overnight. That's why this one's quick. What we're going to do is cook the fruit for 10 minutes and then just leave it to cool. That's all the clementine zest in there and a lemon. We're going to be using the juice from the three clementines, so let's just cut them in half and just get all of that bright orange juice out. Now just pour that in and then let's just pop this onto the hob. And I'm going to cook it quite gently and then all we need to do is simmer it for about 10 minutes and then leave it to cool for about half an hour. Now I've got a deep, loose bottomed cake tin that I have lined with greaseproof paper. Now I've got a triple thickness here of brown paper and I'm going to wrap this around the cake and it's just going to protect it during baking. It's quite tricky to tie it with string without any help so I'm just going to put a little bit of tape there just to hold it in position and then we'll wrap that round and tie a knot to secure it. There we are. So my fruit has had half an hour of cooling. I'm just going to tip it into my bowl and it really does smell fantastic. Now next I'm going to add some beaten eggs. Now I'm just going to sieve in some flour. Next I need a teaspoon of baking powder. There we go. And then for those festive spices I'm going to use a teaspoon of mixed spice, a teaspoon of cinnamon and one of nutmeg. Let's give it a good old mix. Now that's really nicely mixed so it's ready to go into that prepared tin. And use a big spoon. If you try and pour it I think it's going to be quite tricky because of the height of this paper around the tin. There we are. Now this needs to go into the oven for about an hour and a half until the surface is cracked and dry to the touch. So my cake has come out of the oven and I've removed the brown paper and let it cool a little bit. All I need to do now is pierce it with a cocktail stick in several places and then I'm going to drizzle over that bit of French cherry brandy I reserved from earlier. And then all you need to do is leave it to cool completely in the tin and then it's ready for icing. And there we have it, quick Christmas fruitcake.